I think it was a uh, Tuesday or something like that. Uh huh. And I asked, you know, cause for, first I brought it to Art's attention. And he said, "Yeah, do it." Uh -huh. And like, um, I'm a miracle, man. You know, um, it's an honor for me to be be here with y'all. I go to meetings. I do my IOP, right? And like I've been going through some shit lately. You know, I've been out here almost a month, one third, I think. Oh man, it's tough. It's fucking tough. <clears throat> Whatever I go through though, I got art. He's one of the people that work out the house. I'm in ready, willing, and I bring it to his attention. The staff, my peers. You know what I mean? I don't do nothing without bringing it to their attention, you know? And um, staff is good where I'm at. But <laughs> the great part is that I'm really doing it. I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, I'm really doing this, man. I have 40 something years in this thing right here. 40 years of getting high, that's all I know. I don't go over here at all. I stay out of this area. I stay out of them areas. You know, um, because I don't want to get tempted, you know, um, just like here, people come here and leave over here the same way. And I hope that they come back. And, and, and in the room, they talk about love, right? The fellowship is love. See, I went to a meeting yesterday. I was going through some things, emotional you know, spiritual, all that stuff. And what I did was I talked to the people in the house, but that wasn't enough. So I went to the meeting and I sat there and I listened. So I used to come to these places and talk a whole bunch of shit that wasn't living it the fuck I sounded. Hey, the earth is 93 million miles away from the sun and this and that and how you be. That ain't mean shit. But when I came here, I started listening. And I got a lot out of my small group. You know what I mean? I got a lot out of my small group. And that's where I spilled a whole bunch of stuff. But I didn't come to the big group. Only, only came here to listen and learn, right? I'm an old him. When you get old, you don't want to hear that shit. You think you know everything. When you look up up there and see the stars, that's all mass behind the star. That's like the mind is fucking infinite out there, right? There's always room to learn regardless of how old I am. I'm going to continue to learn. And I get an old man saying, you want to start my fame and all that shit. So I went to a meeting yesterday, spiritually just broke down. Hoping that I'm doing the right thing. And I sat there and I listened to the people that got years clean. And they going through some shit too. And I shit, I said, yo, I apologize for sound like this, but I'm glad y'all going through some things too. I said, because you give me the heads up on when I go through some shit in the future. Now I got a little bit of knowledge about it. And you guys is doing it without using the hard part it because i was like yo it's scary it's emotional i said yo but you guys are doing the same thing right and you're not using <clears throat> and i thought i was but i said this, i'm i'm fresh in this thing ah, three fucking months right because i had three months because I decided that I don't want it. I got tired of getting robbed every time that thing hit my leg, hit the heart. I go out, I wake up, my shit gone. I got tired. I, you know, I was down on 15th Street four months ago, living in the fucking subway. I got my fucking jaw broke. I was mad at law, my higher power. I'm like, and I'm carrying this anger around and then just really start to let that anger go because it's written. The ink dried on the pages, right? So it was meant for me to go through that stuff. I didn't <coughs> die when I OD. I didn't know that I died when I OD. 
and it was people around me that brought me back. Even though my shit was gone, my life was still spared. So God allowed that to happen. You know the fucking story about the situation when dude in the ocean waiting for God to help him out and three ships go by. Well, they all saved my life off three of them ships and I finally got on them. And, and, and I'm here. And, and, and I'm going through some things out there, but it's much better. Because I got a lot of help. I got a lot of connects. And I'm just doing a, doing whatever. Ready. I wish I would have never went there, but I'm there now. So, <laughs> you know, I could be working, but it's not in the writings right now for me. I need to get some more structure. I need to do something different. So I started doing that by not speaking a lot when I came and I learned some things. I learned I don't know shit. I learned I don't know how to live life without drugs. I learned that now I can live life without it. And, and like people coming back, yo, my son, right? My son gave me a call last year Pick the phone up. Two of them. Got three boys. Same mom, right? He's like, Dad, I love you. Right? You mean the world to me. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't come by. At all. Until you get your thing right. And I'm in my addiction, right? I'm getting high. And I'm like, cool. Right, you know, but then it hit me. I got high because he said that, and I got high because I got high because I want to get away from that pain, and because I want to get away. I kept getting high, and it didn't. And I was like, "Shit, I lost my family. Ah, what the fuck we going to do now?" So I said, "Fuck, I gotta get my shit right. I have to, not for them." That's my fuel. That's my fire. But I had to do it for me. I swear to God, I had to. And my youngest son, my life, we talked three times since I've been out of here. And I talked to him yesterday before I went to the meeting. And we talked for 45 minutes. And each time we call, we talk longer and longer. Right? They say, Dad, we cool. We, we just want you to get your thing together. Right? We good. But the first call my youngest son gave me was he was one of the ones that said, leave me the fuck alone. He I didn't grow up with he didn't grow up with me. The first two did. We separated. It's like he know me, but he don't know me. But when I say I love you, son, he tell me the same back. But now it's starting to be meaningful behind. The L-O-V, not the L-U-V. It's different. So he let me have it. He said, man, I've want to tell you this for a long time now. Man, you ain't come to none of my graduations. You wasn't there for this, for that. I just sat there. Like, phew, I started crying. Whew, that shit hurt when you can't just rebuttal. I just sat there and listened to that shit like that. Ain't 30 years old. I don't need you for shit, Dad. I don't want to put my, I don't want to invest this in you. You fuck up again. I listened. And I kept listening. And I heard me, one of my dad, and what he was saying to me. I wanted to say to my dad, but I ain't had his strength enough, but I took it out on the street, so. I said, you're right, I need to hear that. He let that shit go on me. That's hard, bro. That's hard for your family, like, especially from you. From you, your, your, your lawyer come from you, and, and, and like, you got, oh, I need them. <clears throat> when we get older, we need our children. We return back to babies. Even though we're bigger, we're a bigger baby, but we're going to need our children. And I need them. And now he's in my life. I got one more. And each morning, I swear to the Lord, I text all three of them. Good morning, son. 
Good morning, young man. I love you. Every one of them, like clockwork. And I told him, like, Dad, you ain't got to do that. I said, no, I have to. That's to let you know I'm doing good. He said, I kind of figured that. He said, you talked to Hakeem, which is my middle son. I said, no, nah, not yet. I said, but in due time, I'm just going to keep texting like I do. I said, I only do it because it lets you know that I'm doing well. He said, yeah, and when you don't text us or call him, you know you fucking up. Yeah. True? Yeah. Like, we, we, we leave our families alone, and, and, like, we think we only hurting ourselves, and, but in reality, we hurting everybody. And then when I have to get a plate through the window, cracked about that much, you think it's, like, damn, they fucked up. They hurting that man. Ah, you hurting them too. You hurting them too. But I'm learning how to love myself so I can love them as well because I got, I, told, I was told today, my aunt, he said, yo, I had to be a brother to myself first. I had to be a cousin, whatever, whatever, sister, brother, whatever, uncle, wherever you are first to yourself. If you don't help yourself, it's forgiveness. It's hard to forgive yourself. It's hard to forgive others. But in the steps, the first three, we have to work on ourselves, but we have to have a power raised in ourselves, right? So whether it be a, a superior being or a person, place, or a doorknob until you become submitful to a higher power that's but it's gotta be great and you know somebody told me I, I, you know my higher power is a doorknob yeah you know my addiction I'm, I'm in and out of programs leaving with chicks and all this other shit you know what's going on I did all that shit I said damn now I realize what the fuck he was talking about it was greater than him you know what I mean? So, like, I'm, I'm happy to be here, man, because I'm y'all. Ain't nothing changed. I still got the same shit I left here with. You just clean. You know what I mean? The struggle was real. I'm not getting high behind it. I don't want to. You know, I, I came up all addicts <coughs> in my family. You know you live in the hood. I ain't going to say black people because there's some people in here that's not black and want the same shit. We ain't go to psychologists and psychiatrists. Get out back crack and all that shit. We ain't do that shit. You weren't able to cry. None of that shit. And we seen that, hey, all the uncles and aunts and all them shit. When we was a kid, they were drinking, drugging and all that shit. But I have some siblings that's cool with that doing their thing. But what's important to me is my sons. And I truly need them right now. But what I'm doing is I'm working on myself. And in doing that, I'm not, you know, you get on the phone, yo, I change. You're on the phone with your girl, your man, whatever. You know what I mean? You get in jail, same shit. Yo, shit different now. Blah, blah, blah. You know, this is what happened. I ain't getting high, especially in jail. I don't get high in jail. I don't get high. Blah, blah, blah. And you on your phone arguing with your, your loved one. Then I heard of Dad. I done heard that shit already, Dad. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, you're right. I said, you know what? I'm just going to start living it out. That's how you see it. I don't talk about what I'm doing. I'm showing the proof to myself. It's okay. It's okay. I'm a broke motherfucker today. But I got a motherfucking card to the bank. Right? <laughs> I'm on fucking social security card, got my ID, you know, the small things. You know, um, I know where I'm going at. I know my goals. You know, OVR, career link. I went down to career link. Uh, you guys need a job, go to career link on 16th. Um, the lady named Charmaine, she get a job. Honestly, I swear to God. And her sister worked at Kirkbride. She said, I remember you. I said, yeah, my name is Amin. She said, yeah, that's right. She said, what's up? I said, I relapsed. I kept it 100 with you. You ain't got to have no ID. She hook you up. You get, until you get your check and get your stuff like that. 
you know, but there's ways that y'all know all kinds of ways to get your ID. I know all that shit. Everything that I did in my addiction, I'm just doing differently. I'm not stealing. I still be wanting to ride motherfucker, but I don't do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I'm like working out, you know, because like, you know, uh, uh, the addiction part wasn't just the drugs. You know what I mean? You know, like, the, you're still working out for having me. You know, ah, motherfucker, I know you, you know, you still got people out there. Yo, I was off for twice yesterday some weed. Like, cool, I'm done. Smell good. I don't fuck with it. Because I know if I start with that one joint, mm-hmm. it's off to the races. Swears off to the races. You know, don't listen, right? We got a chance. We miracles. All of us. Yo, who's in the fucking trenches? <laughs> who's in the fucking trenches, yo? Who? <laughs> who's in there? Feet fucked up, clothes stinking, pissing, sores. Remember that shit? Crashing up your cars and shit, fucking up your house. Remember all that shit? You remember that shit? That shit fresh. That shit's still fresh. I swear to God, that shit's still fresh. You know what I mean? But like, I wish I had some money, but I'm cool right now. I have to be, I I, I, I have to accept that shit right now. But I have no way to go. I ain't even from Philly. You know, most of the people out there ain't from Philly anyway, but, you know, getting high. But I ain't even from Philly. I'm from Jersey. I'm from Northern Jersey. Man, I'm out, I've been out of 12 years now, going on 13. You know, and, and, and like, you know, <coughs> I said, this shit like North, but worse. <laughs> Not from the other small fucking spot. Did a bit out here and everything. Three years. You know what I mean? And, and, and like, you know. I'm just, I'm just a lot better the way I am this way. You know, I used to think that weed make me, make me think, make me do shit. Nah, it, it, it's like doing this shit sober, and a lot of people out there, it, it, you know, I do all my meeting down in South Philly, you know, and, and my IOP down there. I don't come to the hood for anything. I don't even, you know, if I need some money, stamps coming by, I go on twenty for federal. I need a couple dollars. She's still real. You know what I mean? I ain't coming to get anything for it. I just real. I ain't got to go there. I'm 20 in federal. Give me $50 if I need it. You know what I mean? So, you know, did you good? Yeah. <laughs> it totally cost. Oh, yeah. You got to go get that thing, huh? Yeah, I put it on the side of the house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, for real, like, that's what's going to be laughing and all that stuff right there. Yeah. I remember, I remember, I just said, like, yo, mine, 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 mine. Mm-hmm. I remember going to the beach, yo, one time, y'all. I ain't shit in the water. And I had to use the bathroom. I literally had to dig that shit out. Because I was getting high that bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just talking about what was real, you know what I mean? That shit's still out there. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm talking about, what's real. But it's better for me now. You know, it is, man. I'm, I'm getting, I'm beginning to be more happier with myself. Look in the mirror a little bit more. You know what I mean? Because, you know, there's people at the house, got the gear, got the girl, got the money. But they leave. They getting high. And, and I don't want to contrary to that motherfucker like this. The other day I did. He was fucked. I'm like, damn, he fucked. Why am I shit Like, nah, let me get the fuck out of here. Go upstairs to my room and shit. So, I, you know, I'm just doing something different, man. Looking for a girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know, where that kind of come, you know, it happens. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know, that's all I got, y'all. You know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Steve, I'm going to tell y'all clean, Steve. All right, give it a call. All right, thank God for last night's rest this morning. Rise, thank God for his grace and his mercy. 
Grace is always giving me what I don't deserve, and mercy is not giving me what I do deserve. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. How the brothers and sisters doing? Good. Yeah. Well, well, well. All right, it's good to be back here at Beacon Point. My name is Derek McKnight. My partner, Robin Hayes, his birthday is today, right? Okay. So he's not here in the physical, but he's here in the spirit. So we, I think he's 56 today, 56 or 57, right? He might, I hope he ain't mad I'm giving up the tapes on his age. But. <laughs> Oh, look, um, remember last week, we talked about next week, we're going to have the conviction of addiction. Everybody hear that? Remember, everybody remember that, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so for those who raised their hand and we put you up on the board, please remember, bring humor, bring your experience, bring fun, and relax. And please speak up, because sometimes we do this, we can be whispering, but we never whispered on the streets. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we want the same animation on the streets in here, and we're going to have a great time next week at the disease of addiction on trial. All right. So before we get into that, ten minutes of the hour. Anybody got a clock? Cause I got one. I got African watch. You know, sometimes this watch can <laughs> do what they want to do, right? So twenty-five. All right. So ten minutes of eight o'clock. Let me know, okay? Yes, sir. Right, let's get into it. Relax anthem. The relax anthem. All right. Who relapsed in here? All right. Okay. So all of us is on a ship of what? Recovery. These are some ingredients for what? For relapse. Number one, doing what I want to do. Doing what I want to do. Is that dangerous? Yes. All right. Beacon Point says this, damn it, I'm going to do what I want to do. Is anybody guilty of that? All right. All right. Can I get as high again? Yes. Who's smoking cigarettes in their room? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Doing what I want to do. Okay. All right. <laughs> Doing what I want to do. Okay. Hey, is there another rule about God, people in people's rooms? Is that a is it that a situation too? Yes. 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 They say stay out of why? Why do you say that? Stay out of people's rooms. Why is that important? So nothing will get missing. Still. Very good. Very good. All right. Because if something goes missing and you was there, then you might be guilty by what? Oh, by the doubt. Number two, for we that's anthem, dishonesty. Decepticons, where the liars at? Can liars get his, can lion get his high again? Yeah. Anybody steal from people have to look for it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I done that right there, dishonesty. Today is the first of the month. Let's give everybody a hand and we're still here. All right. Yeah. Especially for people who, especially for people who get checks. Everybody understand that? Right, that we're still here, all right? I will always be dishonest when I knew money was coming. I will always, I'm from 26 in Huntington, Lions, Tigers, and Bears, Stop and Surrender. That's my genesis. That's where I come from, right? And um, when I wasn't ready to stop using, I will front like I was done, but I was never done. So the morning, the next morning, I was, the night before the morning came, I was plotting on what girl I was going to be sexing, what crack house I'm going to be smoking in, and where I was going to get my drugs from. My shut lion. The next day, Get up in the morning, do our chores, get down to morning meditation, mouth shut. Read the Quran, mouth shut. Read the Word of God, mouth shut. Read the NA text, the big book, the blue book, mouth shut. And I signed out on a bogus appointment and went and got high. Dishonest. Everybody hear that? But I only heard who? Myself. Who here still want to get high, but you don't want to get high? It's a spiritual warfare for you. Who's leaning more to stay sober than what? Than use it. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Who know the thought of using is a seed? Everybody know that? It's a seed. Now listen, I'll use me for example. If I got the thought of what? Using. If he's negative, that's sunlight on my thoughts. If she's negative, that's water. On the thought of me what? Getting high. He's negative, more sunlight. He's negative, that's water. He's negative, that's sunlight. He's negative, that's water. On the thought of using. Everybody hear that? Because yeah. cause, cause negativity breeds and it, what? it helps what? It helps make a stronghold here. And when your mind is already made up, I don't give a damn what the text or staff say or give me, I'm going to use. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. That's why they say you hang around positive people to water and nourish the thought of staying clean. And we got to be honest. Recovery never begins until we what? Get honest. Is that true? Yeah. Recovery don't begin until we get honest. How about resentful? Who holding resentments? Who holding grudges? Is that dangerous? Yes. All right. Easy said than what? Yeah. Very good. Who believe if you let them off the hook, they might do it again? Yeah. All right. Who believe if you let them off the hook, then listen, you might feel like a chump. They got to feel the way I feel. Anybody understand that? Yes. But who does it really hurt at the end of the day? Yes, Very good. It hurts us. Easy said to know. Who's the best to give karma? Yes, 
God, karma. Who remember the movie Lo The Lovely Bones? Remember The Lovely Bones? Remember he, was, he had the girl, he, the girl was getting away, then he grabbed her and he killed her. Then he put her in a big safe and he got rid of the safe. And just when he thought his, he, he got away with it, he smoked a cigarette and he tripped and broke his neck and died. Oh, yeah. The Lovely Bones. Mark Wahlberg was in that movie right there, right? And yeah, yeah, so, 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 karma, God is the best to give karma. People get, people who do dirt, they get dirt. Everybody saying that? Our job and our humanness is to what? Take our hands off of it. Everybody saying that? You gotta be bigger than words. Somebody call you a WAP without papers. Gotta be bigger than words. Call me a nigga and they not black. Gotta be bigger than words. Poor white trash and they not trash. You gotta be bigger than words. Everybody say that? Because you got antagonists in here. People who push buttons on purpose. And the enemy works through people to attack our recovery. Anybody catch that? That's real. Resentments. Gotta let them go so we can grow. Easy said than done. Negative attitudes. Who's negative in here? Anybody negative? Is that dangerous sometimes. to be negative? Sometimes? Sometimes. All right. Okay, that's right. We get negative. Not all the time, but sometimes I am. Very good. All right. How do you snap out that? Um, prayer. Very good. Is one way. Good. You know, um, prayer is the best way. Prayer is the best way. Very good. For me. Very good. To make the positive out of the negative. Yes, sir. How much time do you clean? Uh, 23 days. 23 days. God bless you. Thank you, brother. People who got negative attitudes, guess what? They kill, they what? They blessings. Is that true? Yeah. They're ungrateful. Anybody ungrateful here? Complain and bitch all day long. What, <laughs> what was we eating before we got here? Nothing. What was we sleeping before we got here? How was our mindset before we got here? What clothes were we wearing? Was we in the right state of mind? Was we seeing the checking of our children? and get in a place of refuge to get our lives together. People in place to help us get our lives together. Structure in place for us to line up to get ourselves together. And we start biting the hand that feeds us. Mm -hmm. And that's dangerous. Come on, brother. You know what? My name is Ron. How you doing? Uh -huh. All that, uh, I do complain a lot. Uh huh. Because I ain't never had to go through none of this stuff I go through. Okay. I never was hungry, never was home, and none of that. Mm -hmm. But I know there's a chance that I can be homeless and hungry and my family turn their back on me. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and you know what? And that's a great fear for me right now. That's why I need to learn how to be hungry. Like, like that, that food downstairs. That mm -hmm. food, I hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I eat steak. I, I, I cook for a living. Yes, sir. If you want, if you want, if you want pour water on my eyes, make it look good. <laughs> I had a soup one day with noodles. I'm talking about some this is uh, whatever the fuck it was. I said that's the soup they that that that, that chicken in the chop the fuck up. <laughs> I get frustrated with that. I understand that, brother. I understand. <laughs> I understand. But I remember, I remember one time I was hungry. Yes, sir. So I need to be grateful. Uh -huh. I need to be grateful so I can go ahead and move on. Mm -hmm. What well, it's teaching me, right? Mm -hmm. Don't get high on no it. That's right. That's right. Don't get fucking high. Mm -hmm. Good way of looking at it. Oh, I, and then, and then, and then, I did cheat myself uh -huh. when I sell my shit. Uh -huh. So, that's kind of too mm -hmm. So, I, it's just that, man. Yeah, I got to be grateful for everything I get, man. If you're saying that, brother, I'm gonna sign that clean, soldier. I got um, yeah, I'm forty. Yeah, I got the, I got forty number. All right, God bless, God bless. The opposite side of what he was talking about is very important too. 
some people too in the positions, right? And I'm not gonna say that this place. I don't know. I, I don't stay here. I don't know. But some programs where I come from, a lot of times the food can be better. They believe, well, y'all recovering addicts. Y'all can eat this. Wait a minute. We're not out here no more. Right. Well, where the heat at? Don't worry about heat. Do you have heat when you was on the streets? You know what I'm saying? So, so say they wrong there. You hear what I'm saying? Sometimes some staff and facilities and the CEO, the head might be sick. You hear that? But we'll make the body sicker. Program poverty pimps. Y'all know who they are? <laughs> program poverty pimps. If you in my recovery program and you a mechanic, I need you. And you need a dope, you need a dope shot, I got you. Yeah. You got an SSI check? Listen, you can get high all you want. Just make sure that that check is on every month. Yeah. And you affect other people in the program. So it is a flip side to what I'm talking about, that what? Kill blessings. Without a doubt, brother. Good fool right there, right? Um, but we got to stay positive in, in spite of a what? A negative situation. Just like he said it, not to come back here ever again. Everybody hear that? That's how you look at it. How about self-pity con artists? Self-pity con artists who regurgitate the same pain every day because you're not looking for help. You're looking for sympathy and empathy and attention and coochie and cigarettes. <laughs> I really don't want help. Self-pity con artists. Artists. Guess what? The pain is legitimate. But if we just keep talking about the pain, her ears gonna get tired and he hope I shut up and she gotta go to the bathroom and he got smoke 10 cigarettes because it's the same lyrics being spit from my lips. So when I'm gonna start praying for solutions for the problem on my record so the lyrics will start changing and be new music to your ears. Self-pity con artists make campaign speeches talking about they leaving, they never leave. <laughs> Because I, I ain't going to make no speech if I'm leaving. I'm packing up. Bye, dirt, bye. <laughs> I'm making those speeches. How about judgmental? We last answer. Who judgmental in here? Don't got all the facts. Don't got all the facts on somebody, but you making what? Deci judgment on somebody. Is that dangerous? Yeah, Very good. If you judge people, who going who gonna to get judged next? You. That's right. Isolation. When we in here, you out there. When we out there, you back in here. When we upstairs, you downstairs. And when we downstairs, you upstairs. Always by your Self. isolation. Even when in a crowd of people who still isolate. Mm -hmm. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mind in the matrix, but not here in recovery. Isolation. Is that dangerous? Yeah. Who knows this is the psych ward? Who knows this is the circus? Clowns, midgets, knife throwers. High wire acts all up here going on simultaneously at one time. So if you're a Muslim, you better have the Quran up here. You Jewish, you better have the Torah up here. You you Buddha, better have the Buddha book up here. The word of God up here to clean up a stink mind. Because how I think is how I feel. How I feel is how I talk. How I talk is how I walk. And how I walk is how I live. And it all starts right here in the cuckoo factory. Isolation is it's, it's different between what? Solitude. Solitude is me time. The atmosphere is negative. Let me what? Step off so I can what? So I can woosa and pray and do some sit-ups and run in place and, you know, so do some push-ups and some sit-ups and pray and reflect and meditate and get back with the family. That's solitude. Isolation is do just the opposite. How about the next one right here? Intolerant. Anybody intolerant? Anybody want to talk about that? I got a short view for, for the same bullshit over and over. Okay. All uh, right. Me and the brother went through it this morning. The brother just spoke. Uh huh. Because of this shit, he, him complained all the fucking time. Okay. And I got tired of it. Okay. Real quick. And you said something to him? Yeah, we, we did, but we worked it out. You know what I mean? Like, he know I ain't mean nothing by it. Uh huh. It just, it gets, it gets tiresome real fast. Mm hmm. Anybody hear that? Brothers Keepers. Right about. So how you so you pretty good now? I'm trying to work on it. Very good. How much time you got clean? Today. Give it to him, y'all. God bless. <laughs> hey, guess what? God will what? Bring people in our lives for us to get better with it. God show me this. If my man right here is is what? Getting on my nerves. I don't get whatever. The way he looks, the way he talks, he bothers me. Right you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't go around him. Go over him, go under him, I gotta confront him. 
So if I confront him, I can let him know what's wrong with, with me. What, he, what about him is making me uneasy? And maybe he got some words for me also. So if I don't get better with him, I will see a new face with the same behavior. Anybody catch that? So we got to confront it. When you confront it, then you get better with it. Because we got to face it to fight it. Fight it to defeat it. Feed it. Victory. Victory testimony. We only get a testimony when we confront what we what? What's making us uneasy and could cause what? Intolerance. How about race? Is that a problem? <clears throat> How about religion? Is that a problem? How about females versus males? How about the LGBT? You straight, I'm gay. Could that be a problem? Who know in the crack house in the shooting gallery and on the deli, we was the United Nations. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't care if you was walking through that naked. Just give me the goddamn lighter. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> you was purple. I didn't give a damn what was going on. All right, listen. You got dimes? Listen. <laughs> so, so, so when we come out of what? The, yo, the, the, the jaws of death. Now we get into our own little chambers. Everybody hear that? Intolerance. Everybody hear that? Intolerance. All of us got issues. We all live in a glass house. Nobody should be throwing what? Stop. Very good. How about egomaniacs? Who got an ego? It's an ego, ego at the door. Is that dangerous? Can I get the high again? Yeah. Egomaniacs? Yeah. All right. They say easing God out. Is that true? Yeah. How about arrogance? <laughs> arrogance. Who know everything? All right, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, okay. All right, that would definitely get me high. Arrogance, listen, I won't read if I'm arrogant. Everybody hear that? I won't ask for help if I got an ego problem. Everybody hear that? That's you? Yeah. Okay. How do you get better with that? That's important. By falling so low. Everybody hear that? He by said, I used to be him. So he changed by falling so low. Brother, I shot cocaine August of 1964. And I love cocaine. I love the taste of it more than I like the taste of bubble gum when I first tasted bubble gum. Uh -huh. It's just the truth. Yes, sir. It's just the truth. Uh -huh. But now I'm in the flutter. Uh -huh. They found me on the floor. Mm. Yeah. They found me on the floor, man. Took me to the hospital ambulance, man. And when I got to Thomas Jefferson Hospital, they said, hey, man, you're polluted with pneumonia and cocaine. Mm. Do you, we got medicine for the, for the, uh, pneumonia. Yes, sir. Do you want some help? Uh -huh. And I told him I do. Mm -hmm. And I've been here and I'm listening to you. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to the brother that was just speaking. Uh -huh. I'm listening to you a moment ago. I'm listening to Jerome. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm listening, man. Mm -hmm. Because I think the next flutter mm -hmm. will be gone. Mm -hmm. As much as I love cocaine. Okay. Yes, sir. That's just true. Thank you for letting me say it. All right. God bless you, brother. God bless. Come on, Queen. I just want to piggyback on what you're saying. I think you guys need to listen to what we're saying. It's funny he said that he was struggling with cocaine and pneumonia. Same uh, here. Mm -hmm. I'm here right now struggling with pneumonia mm -hmm. and, and cocaine. And it didn't come from the summertime because it's too cold. It came from them drugs. Yes. Mm -hmm. That the, Because they, like the hospital said, it's unspecified organisms. Mm -hmm. They don't know what the fuck is causing the pneumonia. Mm -hmm. So um, it's funny that you said that, mm -hmm. and it's true. I'm taking something called augmenting right now to fight pneumonia. Mm -hmm. But it's up to me, it's up to God and me to fight with the drugs. So And today is my check day. And so it is tomorrow, too. But I'd be damned if I want to go the fuck back out there and kill myself. I know yes, that's yes. right. Yeah, I know that's yeah. right. Yeah. And you know, that ego is real big right there. It's like, it's like we've been running our lives, our own lives for years. And nobody going to tell me what to do. You find what I'm saying? And it's hard for my, my Rob, who's not here. He said pride stands for a primary reason I die early. Because it's hard to ask for help. Because I've been doing it for so long. Remember Sidney Poitier? He did a movie called Lilies in the Field? Yeah. Rest in peace. Great actor. Right? January the 6th, I think he passed, right? And he was in a movie called Lilies of the Field, building a chapel for the nuns. And he told the Mexicans he didn't need their help. But the Mexicans looked at him being a fool, begging a fool on themselves, how he got to mix the semen himself. He didn't ask for no help. Egomaniac, arrogant, know everything. I'm going to build that chapel. 
I'm going to do it. You said me do it, I'm going to do it. And if the way he been going, if he didn't get no help, he been been out there for, for months and years. He had to mix the cement, put it in the bucket, walk it up the ladder, bring it, bring the ladder, come back down the ladder, get a brick, come up the steps with the brick, up the ladder, lay it down on the cement and do the same thing, process over. Bucket get empty, go back down, mix more cement. And they looking at him and laughing at him. Yeah. Egos. Not asking for help. Help is right there, but refuse to ask for it. And he's got to be what? Vulnerable. Who don't like to be vulnerable? When you're vulnerable, you open. People going to laugh, let them laugh. Ain't it ironic if we put people's opinions in a blunt and roll that up and smoke it? What type of high will that be? <laughs> Worrying about the opinions of other people. And when we are there, it's hard for us to what? To surrender. Because we're powerless. And we die in silence. How about what? Making excuses. Who made many excuses not to show up here? I got to get high again. I got one more bag to do. Uh, I need a babysitter. I got a union job. Keep using your hat. You won't have none of that. My man, you want to speak on that? You even made excuses before you got here? Oh, you brother. Just kept putting it off. Okay. That's why I got tired. Very good. But the crazy part about it, when I did get tired, I already had my duffel bag and everything. I was gonna see a friend. Mm -hmm. So I go up at Royal Lee Uh huh. It's fucking 54 is being detailed back when the first said Lee Ah Festival. Uh huh. I'm sitting there for like two hours. Just going to the 54 is being detoured. Get to Germantown, Town, Leon, that's where they gonna pick you up at. So I'm for another two hours. Nah, no, is that fit for Leon? I said, man, I'm gonna walk walking the whole joint down. Mm -hmm. But I made it though. Awesome. How much time you got clean, soldier? Like 38 days. Hey, all right. God bless you. Hey, who know the worst criminals are the best advocates? Mm. The, the worst criminals, the killers, the dope fiends, the nasty of the nastiness. People go low and rob their grandmothers. Yo, the evil individuals, when they transform, they the, they, they, they the best to shine light. The people that are still living in darkness. And that's why the enemy fights us like hell to stay right on the, in the darkness. Everybody know what I'm talking about? And when we transform like Acts and the word of God, from Saul to Paul, who had mercy. He wrote 90% of the New Testaments, and he was an ex-criminal, an ex-killer yeah, yeah. against Christians. Yeah. Come on, Brother Steve. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, this, this room is full of us, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, you know, once we get our thing together, man, we run the world. Come on. Mm. Yes, sir. Don't let fear stop us. Yeah. Go fool. You know how this go to the next right here? Disrespect. Disrespect. When people talking, we should be what? Listen. Very good. People get killed not for what? Money over what? Disrespect. Is that true? That's very true. Yes. All right. So we got to learn to respect ourselves and respect other people. All right? Yeah. To, to live a long life. Come on. Hey, uh, uh, you know, I'm keeping on, on high. Uh-huh. You know, because um, I see a lot of things as far as disrespect, as far as see I come here because I need help. Yes, sir. If I take my mind off of my opinion and put it on her, uh -huh. then I'm losing on myself. Yes, sir. Then, you know what I'm saying, I said something to a couple people today about work. Word hurts people. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And, it's, and, and it takes away from you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Words really hurt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your name ain't cat, and I call you dog. Mm -hmm. It's not your name. Mm -hmm. It hurts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I just saw that where people can say something. There'll be 10 of us in the room. One person say something, and the other nine drawn in. Mm -hmm. We all are all focused. Mm -hmm. Because of what somebody else said, that's they mess. Uh -huh. Let me say where I'm at, stay focused on what I need to do. I'm listening and I'm observing. If I can put in my pocket, I will. Uh -huh. I'm not throwing it back, uh -huh. just in case. Uh -huh. But it's just it's, it's good to stay focused, man, and be respectful and not disrespectful to self. That's right. And people are disrespectful to somebody else, they're disrespectful to self. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, I just, I just, I see a lot, and you know. Man, you go way back. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. it took me forty some years to not look but see mm -hmm. and really be real and true to myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can help you, I can't help myself. That's right. I can't be true. You know, it used to be. I got a nine year old son, this and that, that and that. 
if I'm not being true to me, my son will be, be crying. Mm -hmm. Where's his father at? Because they know. So I just, you know, just need to learn how to get more man, man up to be a man. I mean, I'm 59 years old. Don't make me a man. Me being a man is being responsible and being respectful of myself while I'm being respectful for others. Come on, man. How much time do you have clean? I have 23 days. Now. Hey, all right. <laughs> Talk about respect. I've never seen a, a Muslim sister garbed up disrespected. Anybody catch that? Yeah. Never seen that. Never seen no brother come out the side of the neck wrong because a woman carries herself with what? Dignity. And she demands respect because she walks in respect. Everybody understand that? But the woman who got the coochie cutters on. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Late. Can lateness can cause us to get high? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Who listen? Who come out their room late for group? Or you, 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 you. When it's time for groups, you stall. It's like a thriller. Like you remember thriller? Mm -hmm. How they used to come out the grave? That's how they come out our rooms. <laughs> Cigarettes, whole assing. <laughs> Time to get those whole ass in. Lead in. <laughs> to die, whole ass, to live, hesitation. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. How about procrastination? We spoke about it right there. How about inconsiderate? Anybody inconsiderate? Yeah, yeah. And that, that keeps the atmosphere what? Negative, all right? How about selfish, hoarders? Anybody selfish in here? Is that dangerous? Yeah. But they say recovery is a selfish program. Is that true? Yeah. We got to be selfless. Who know the definition of being selfless? That means my man Dasher right here. He needs shoes. I got him. He needs shirts. I got him. That's Pair of slacks. I got him. That's selfless. Because God blessed me to have things. And my brother need things. So I'm going to help him to get some things. Because when my hands is open, God will bless me to bless others. If your hand is closed, you can't receive or give. Is that true? Yeah. And when we hold it, trying to protect, we wind up losing anyway. Who remember the Christmas curl? By humbug. <laughs> Before he went to sleep. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Had three dreams and woke him out his sleep. And he woke up and said, Merry Christmas. Everybody hear that? He went from closed hands to open hands. Selfish. Got to be selfless in this process right here. It's God, me, the number of people. Come on. Oh, is that that time? Thank you, brother. How about angry? Anybody angry in here? No. All right. Okay. Who suppressed the anger then explode later? Anybody? Is that dangerous? Yeah. All right. Who's passive aggressive? They plot and scheme. They in here? They the ones who can't fight, but always sell the wolf tickets like Tupac and Juice. <laughs> <laughs> they cuss us out, but can't read or write. Anybody know what I'm talking about? All right, let's keep moving. All right. All right. Uh, 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 who's aggressive when they get angry? All right. King baby, queen baby. Just walk out of groups, walk out of meetings, all that. Who broke their cell phone with no insurance? <laughs> let's keep moving. <laughs> Anxious. Who mind can't sit still? How do we slow down this engine? Reading. Reading? Pretty good. Anxiety. How about jealous? Haters. Any haters in here? A lot of haters? Ah, uh, okay. People can't speak up. I'm a hater. Say it. But people can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Who got entitlement issues? Who ran a muck on their lives and listen and, and took your family through hell? You be here for three days, get on the phone with entitlement and say, Where are my cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> Where my damn sneakers at, huh? <laughs> Entitlement issues, right? How you doing? Entitlement issues, right? Definitely. Who got anybody got lust issues? Anybody lust for power? Lust for positions? All right, okay. Is that dangerous? Yeah, yeah. Very good. All right. Projection. Who always in the future, but you can't enjoy the present because you always in the what? Future. Projecting. It's a just for the day what? Program. Program. Very good. How about guilt and shame? Who still duct tape to their guilt and shame? And you can't get free because you still duct tape to your guilt and your shame. Come on. Me? Yes, sir. Oh God, I've never gotten past step six. Uh, I just can't let it go. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, what haven't I done? <laughs> I mean, 
it just, uh, I, I can't see my family. Every time I see my mother, and she was like half the woman she used to be, and I think that was me. Uh, you know what I mean? So, you know, just stays, <laughs> doesn't come out. Okay. Can you work it on forgiving you, though? I'm working on it. All right. Do you know if you didn't get high, would well, you would have done what you did? No. Ah, okay. So it's not like letting us off the hook. But it is. But it's not like to the point that we don't have to beat ourselves up. Because you know God already forgave you. You know what I'm saying? So we hold ourselves hostage when we already free. How much time y'all clean? All right, y'all. God bless you. Hey, fear. Anybody afraid? What you afraid of? Not being high. Not what? Not being high. Oh, y'all hear that? We afraid of not being high. You sober now. How you feel? <laughs> you think it's gonna get greater later? Yeah. I, you know what? I, I don't, I don't want to hear that no more. It get greater later. Get me later now. But it never happened like that. I had to wait for later. Very good, my man. You can have fun and recover. You know that, right? Very good. I'm gonna sign y'all clean. Hey, lot of time, brother. How about giving up? Anybody give up? Don't give up in the back. You gave up before? Why? You lost your motivation? Okay. Is it back? Very good. How much time y'all clean? Hey! Right. And the last one is unhealthy relationships. Everybody know about that right there, right? Yeah. All right. Don't shop in the rooms. Is that true? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Real quick. Who in here? The Conviction of Addiction next week. We're gonna set it up. How you doing, Megan? We're gonna set it up. We're gonna have the jury over here, the judges up here, the defendant, the prosecutors, the witness sitting behind them, the bailiff, the sonographer. We're gonna set up to like kangaroo court, all right? Next week. Now, we need a judge. Honest, when your hand go up, you know the judge lingo. You know? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Huh? I could do it all. Well, let's, let's see the hands of the women who want to be, to be a judge. We got one, two, three, and four. Megan, 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 She's one of us. She, yeah, she's she really, she recovering that too. She recovery too. Listen, you know what I'm saying? And, and look, look, look. And, and look. And, and, and. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, Megan. All right, Megan, you got it, Megan. That's like Jeff Zoo. It's on four. Hey, I'm gonna pay. Okay, all right, look, 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 come on, come on, come on, let, let, no, come on, let, 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 make it be good. Make it be good, all right? Make it be good, all right? All right. Prosecutors, who wanna, pro who wanna put the disease of addiction on what? Try, we need two. One, what's your name? It's Stephanie. Stephanie? And Ray? Stephanie and Ray. We got two prosecutors, now we need three witnesses. Who wanna be witnesses saying it's what? I hate drugs. We need three, what's your name? Jerome. Jerome. Come on, we need two more. Yo, can I be in it? Yeah. Uh, Kima. Kima. You gonna be a witness? K. Alright. We need one more witness. Come on. Muhammad, you gonna be in next week? Alright, Muhammad. <laughs> I'll leave on Tuesday. Yeah. And she's running it down for me. Okay, good. Thank you. Because they might erase this. Hey, defendants. Who, hey, who want to defend the disease of addiction? Drugs is okay. We grown. I can smoke if I want to. Who want to be a lawyer? Who want to fight? For, huh? You want to do it? No, um, okay, go ahead. <laughs> we need two, two lawyers. All right, what's your name? Camilla. Camilla. Camilla K. A M I L A H. I. L A H. M I L A H. Okay, Camilla. We need one more. Keith. Keith. Come on. That's Keith. That's Keith. All right, let the defendants. All right, we need what? Now y'all, we need a witness. Can I get a witness? My man in the back. Will be a witness for them. 
All right, what's your name? Elijah. Elijah? How you spell that? I. E. E. L. I. J. Yeah, it's E. E. L. I. E. L. I. J. A. H. Okay, Elijah. All right, two more. Two more saying it's okay to get high, damn it. Come on, it's okay. Come on, what's your name? Michael. Michael. Come on, we need one more witness. We're gonna have fun next week. Come on. Ray? Brandon. Brandon. All right, Brandon. Okay, we got our judge, we got our lawyers. Now we need our what? Our, our jury. Six men, six women. Six men, six women. Steve? Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Let's get to it. Tracy. Tracy, come on. Uh, the jury. The jury. You got what's your name? Christina. Brother. You got a good guy with his hand up in the back. Where he at? Casey. Okay. He wanna be a jury? What's his name? Mike M. Mike M. Mike M. Uh, all right, Mike M. Boom. Tracy, Christina. Tracy with a K? Casey. 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 All right. K A S Y. That's why. Casey, Tracy, Christina, Steve. We need um, four more guys. We need four more guys for the jury. Six men, six women for the jury. Come on. Jerome. 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 Come on, three more guys, y'all. Let's go. Let's make it happen. What's your name? L E E. Lee. All right. Two, four. Two more. Two more guys. Come on. Christina? Yes. Two more guys. Come on, y'all. Yeah, you what's your name? Rodney? Rocky? Okay. Rob ah, G. Rob G. Rob G. Rob G. Okay. Rob G. One more, one more male. Right there? Come on, what's your name? Felix. Huh? Felix. 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 How we got Felix? Now you need three more women. Three women. Three women. Come on, y'all. We done. Katrina. Katrina? That's her right there with the hoodie on. What's your name? Katrina. <laughs> All right, two more women. Two more women. Come on, y'all. For the jury. Stab, y'all can get on board, too. Come on. Yeah, she ain't gonna be here. You wanna be here? You wanna be a jury? No. Now we need females. Listen, listen. Females is Tracy, Christina, uh, and Katrina, and Casey. Casey, Katrina, Tracy. We need two more women. Are they in the house? What's her name right here? Shannon. Shannon? I'm not doing that. What's your name? <laughs> Are you doing a sitting still and listening? Are you leaving Tuesday? God bless you, sis. How about right here? Why? Are you doing sitting down? I saw you doing and listening. Tiffany. What's her name? Tiffany. Tiffany. Put Tiffany down. Put Tiffany down. <laughs> Tiffany, uh, we got we got five. One more. All you gotta do is vote. Why not, Shannon? All you gotta do is vote, Shannon. How about you, love? She can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Maddie. Maddie. All right. All right. We on for next week, right? Love y'all. Who woke us up? Greta Sweeney. To accept the things you and I change, change. The courage to change, change the things that we can, and, and the wisdom to know the difference. God's will, not ours, be done. Yeah. Love you, baby. You said we are winning, right? right. 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 I'll see you next Tuesday, bro. Yes, sir. Come tell me. 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 I mean, shoot, I'm, down. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm the long, I got the longest tenure in the history of Beacon's Point. I'm right behind. Yeah, now, you ain't no green even close, bro. I've been over 136 days. 60 months? I'm blessed. Yeah, right. That's for the prosecutors.
they gonna they gonna send the disease yes, to the this bag. Show he's all right. Yes, yeah. yes, you, you witness, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See next week. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Rob? Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Got my number. All right. All right. That's them hoarders. You fucking graduate and you got come back. Go to the mansion? Oh, you gotta go to the fucking office and get that shit. That shit nutty, bro. That shit look crazy. Don't get it, don't get it. What is that? They were saying, like, last year they were doing it for Yeah, I was getting down now. We're in the kitchen. Well, and, you know, oh they give you know, you know, you more money and shit, but like, they're not doubling the money. Yeah, like, what about I wish you to come back too. I'm sure. Absolutely. I'm to get this for job. How much money? Bro, you're not going to work for about five months. But you know it's crazy, man. I'm like, I'll try, but not. I'll tell you the rough. I'll tell you the rough. I got you. I think you're amazing. I love your every week. Yeah, Praise thank God. you so much. You're really right. awesome. I'm sure you're here all What's your name? Amy. Amy. Yeah. Amy. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Do you have what the show is this one though? Like YouTube oh, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Go to okay. YouTube. Nice. Go to YouTube. And you can put uh, put in minds of in pockets. We come right okay. up. Me and my partner Rob. Okay, nice. Okay. All right, yeah, I'm gonna figure that out. Thank you, Rob. And and do this right here. <laughs> and Dirk McKnight. Okay. Yeah, I'm just tweeting two channels. Okay. Yeah, Mind Smith Podcast and Dirt McKnight. All right. All right. God bless you. Oh, here we go. All right. Let me see will result in strength. Yeah. Humility will result in honor. honor. Uh huh. Forgiveness will result in freedom. Okay. Well, victory. Okay. Okay. All right. Honesty cool. will result in truth. Yes, sir. Faith will result in hope. Yes, sir. Confusion will result in change and uh, closure. Uh, no, oh, confession. Conf oh, confession. I, I, I can't read my own chicken spread. That's that's a you confession. You say confusion. Yeah, I you did, say confusion. That's a confession. Uh, All right. Uh, What's number seven? Let's go. Um, restitution will result in. Restitution is result in, in closure. Conf confession is internal cleansing. So when we confess, we in internally get cleansed, things we hold in. Internal cleansing, right? Restitution, you know, paying what we owe. Restitution will result in closure. All right, making amends, walking on parole, whatever. All right, let me see what else we got. Faith, you got faith? Yeah, faith will result in hope. You got faith. Um, powerlessness, humility, forgiveness, um, service. Service will re re result in a reward. Service will result in a reward to be in service. Okay. Helping out. Okay. okay. Well, that's nine. All right. Powerlessness, um, humility, forgiveness. What's this one here? Oh, that's that's all. The, what's this one here? Oh, that's just some um, notes that I put in okay. there. Okay. And talk about all right. understand, understanding leads to acceptance, leads to forgiveness. Okay. All right. Let me see. Um, you got surrender. No. Okay. Surrender. surrender will result. Forgiveness will result in freedom, right? And surrender will result in victory. Get your number here. Fresh start. Okay. Fresh start five. Yeah. Okay. So you be here next week. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be here. Okay. 
but this is a place I go. How can I do it? But I don't know what they. Okay. Hi, right, baby. My name is Muhammad. I love you. I love y'all too. My name is Muhammad. Right, good night. My name is Muhammad. All right. Muhammad, got you. I'm, and this is your number, right? You like it before. I got another one. I got another one. Who you at, brother? You got ten? I got nine. I need three more. All right, nine. Okay, all right. Um, let me see. Humility resulting in honor. Faith. Oh, listening with result in learning. Yeah, right here, and connection with result in love. Okay, right here. My number here? Yeah. This is my number's back here. 267-815-0230. Hey, program? Huh? Hey, program, you right here? No, That's no, no, no. the lecture we had. Well, Steve. Oh, I'm the Muhammad. My name is Muhammad. Right. Oh, here you go. God bless you, brother. Oh. All right, Muhammad. Um, All right, got you, brother. All right, you're welcome. Something will result in love. Listen, will result in learning. Oh, connection will result in love. Connection. One more. We got to connect to love. Yep, we got one more. Ah, this talk and walk. I want to hold them up. All right.